Welcome to Let's Talk Jonesboro. Today we have Danny Kapalis. He's our Parks Director. And as you know well, we've had a lot of restrictions uh, everywhere in the world uh, these days through this pandemic. And uh, one of many people who have had to re-create uh, the way they live and the way they go about their, their days and their lives is, is our Parks Department. And so you guys have had to rethink almost everything you do, I guess, the last few months, huh, Danny? We have. That's, uh, with Parks and Rec, it's, it's one of the things that you, you, you live this life because you do enjoy being outdoors. You do enjoy uh, uh, being social with people and seeing people enjoy your parks and enjoy the community centers and enjoy the playgrounds. And this, this whole pandemic has just changed that, that whole outlook and, and how people get to enjoy what you're, you're working hard to create for them. Now we're recording on the second day of June, which is uh, about 12 hours after the first actual competitive ball games were played at Southside Softball Complex. Correct. We uh, we started junior high softball last night. And how did it go? It went well. Uh, I was very proud of the, uh, the the fans. I was proud of the the players, the umpires, uh, my staff. They all did a wonderful job. I was really just just impressed with the way that everybody kind of followed the rules. And so. What did it look like? I mean, you had to make a lot of uh, considerations, I guess, with social distancing, with uh, just the whole coronavirus thing in, in effect. I think it, it affected everything from your, your athletes uh, to their teams to the concession stands, am I right? Correct. And just with, you know, concession stands, we had to make sure that people entered one end and exited the other, that our concession workers actually maintained one job while they were in the concession instead of moving them all around inside the concessions. You also looked at the, the teams and the schedules. Instead of moving teams from one field to the other on a doubleheader night, they actually stayed on one field in one dugout and played the same team for two, two games. And that way uh, we didn't have a lot of teams bouncing around and that, that kept people in, in one location. You kept parents once they came out with their chairs and they set up their location, they stayed in their location so you didn't get a lot of cross-contamination. You know, well, that's, you know, let's play too was a good idea a, a long time ago when Ernie Banks first said it. So I yep. think that's, why not play too? We're not recreating the wheel here. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what do you, uh, the, do the have to players have to wear masks? I don't guess, I mean, you, you can really do something like that while you're playing. They don't. The, the directive is a uh, strong encouragement for, for fans and for folks to wear masks. Uh, you know, obviously, when the player's in the field, it's, it's hard to wear a mask when you're out there uh, exercising and, and working hard. Uh, but as a fan, yeah, we would like to see you wear a mask and, and make sure that you're being as safe as you can. But it's, it's encouraged by the Arkansas Department of Health. Uh, we, we're checking the temperatures of the coaches and our staff and making sure that they, they come in feeling well and that way the folks that are working for us are in good shape while they're out there. Very good. All right, so we've got that. We've also got practices going on at Joe Matt Campbell for baseball. Correct? We do. We do have baseball practices. And uh, last night was the first night to actually expand those practices from uh, just a few fields to actually being able to, to, to utilize all the fields. Plus, teams are actually able to uh, have scrimmages now. Up, up until last night, they were only able to have just a practice for baseball, but starting last night, they were able to, to put two teams on a field and actually have scrimmages at this point. Do you feel like the people get it? You think your coaches and players, you think most of them get it? I think, I think a high percentage get it. Yeah. I, I really do, and, I, and I'm proud of, of that high percentage. I really am. And that's the way it's all going to be throughout society. Everybody has got their own opinion, and some don't don't understand uh, the the impacts or the potential impacts of their actions. But uh, we're going through unique times right now. And uh, when will when will games actually begin at Joe Mac Campbell? Well, we're working on the schedules right now. Uh, so, so the baseball boosters actually run the, the ball games and the tournaments, and they're getting those schedules nailed down. Anybody that wants to look at those schedules can actually go to their website, which is Jonesboro Baseball Boosters. They'll be able to see what the rec schedule looks like or what the tournament schedule looks like. Is there a governor's directive on a date when those act uh, yes, the, that was actually last night. That was last uh, yeah, night. Yeah, yesterday was the first date that all, the, all those uh, programs could start up, so we utilized that date. And started. 
Uh, one of the other things that we're actually uh, at Joe Mack that started up last night was soccer practice. And I really want to give them great credit uh, that they uh, go out there for that practice and those kids were all spread out and having a wonderful practice. We utilized three soccer fields last night. And that's one of the programs that uh, is under the directive from the governor that cannot have competitive uh, activity at the moment, but they can have individual training. And so what we've ended up doing was we've spread kids out for individual training in different segments. And so if you go out there and watch a practice, you'll see 20 kids across three fields spread out. They're, they're 18, 20 feet apart and they're doing their training. And so it's a really nice thing to see that, uh, that these kids are following what they're supposed to, the coaches are doing what they're supposed to, but they're still able to get outside and, and play the game that they love. And the nature of soccer, I know you have to guard people, but uh, as a teammate, you will kind of want to be spread out anyway, right? You do. I think this is just helping them learn the, the objective <laughs> of the game of spreading the, the field. Social distancing is, it should be a strategy, I guess, of soccer. I, I think we, it's we gonna help, yes, that. sir. We're gonna start calling that a, a new strategy for coaching technique. Mm -hmm. um, now, it gets more complex as when we get to things like Craighead, Craighead Park and some of the, the things that we've got out there, pavilions. Uh, I think restrooms are now open, is that correct? The restrooms are now open at Craighead Forest. Uh, there, was some, there was a lot of unknowns when you're dealing with, uh, with this virus, and, right. and uh, we, we've done what we could. We've, we've been educating ourselves. Uh, we've been reading everything that's out there that the Arkansas Department of Health has put out, the CDC. Uh, we've talked to anybody that we could talk to to try to learn what we can. And, and as we move forward, we're, we're finding out there's certain things that we can start doing. And some of those was opening up the restrooms. Uh, we changed some of our, our ways. We're making sure that the restrooms get cleaned a couple of times each day, along with uh, we have a, a fog machine that uh, we can actually go through the, the facilities multiple times through the day and actually fog with disinfectant, which will help maintain that virus, kill that virus as, as you right. go in the facilities. Uh, the picnic tables, uh, we're, we're opening those back up. Not the ones in the pavilions yet, uh, because that would, that would encourage gathering. Uh, but we're opening up the individual uh, picnic tables throughout the park. That way you as a family, if you want to come out and have a picnic, you have a place to come out, sit with your family, and enjoy the park and have a picnic. Yeah, people who live together in their own household it's, it's a good place for them to get outdoors. And it's a great place for them to get outdoors. Yeah, yeah that's fabulous. Now, the workout equipment along the trail, is, is it? That is, back that, in the, the workout equipment is open. Um, the, you know, one of the things that did come out is that uh, this virus still can be uh, transmitted through touch points, but it's much harder to transmit through, through touch right. points. So along with that, that fogging, uh, my guys will be going around through the workout equipment and fog that equipment with the disinfectant. Plus, we recommend that you, as a, uh, a user of that equipment, you follow the guidelines and you use hand sanitizer. Make sure that after you use the equipment, you get back to your car, sanitize your hands, make Keep sure you- a little you bottle in your pocket. That's it, just be smart. Do what you're supposed to do, follow those guidelines. Mm -hmm. Just be responsible, be safe. Uh, rec centers are gonna have to open at some point but that's a little more complex, right? It is a little more complex. Uh, rec centers, obviously indoor facilities. Uh, when you start opening up facilities like that, uh, you get into those, uh, those sports that are more of the competitive contact type sports, and those have not been uh, allowed to be open yet. Uh, so we're waiting on the governor's directive on if we can start, when we can start basketball and, and sports of those sorts. When, when that happens, then we'll be evaluating the community centers. Danny, as you look at this, uh, we know we're in a pandemic mode and there will be a vaccine available one day and uh, we'll get a little more what we used to think of as normal. But what do you see? Tell me what things that you see from this are creating a new best practice that you think may last, you know, for, for the future. Well, a new best practice is still the old best practice. Mom always said, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your idea. hands. And, you know, make, make sure you're, you know, when, when you leave a restroom, you wash your hands. Before you sit down to eat, wash your hands. We've been told this all our life. Let's do that. And, and make sure that we, you know, we maintain that throughout. That's going to help us. Uh, that's, I think that's one of the guidelines within the directives that, that people should be following throughout their life. Hey, he's Danny Compalis. He's the director of Parks and Recreation, and his, he and his team have done a fabulous job. And we thank you for taking the time to visit with us on Let's Talk Jonesboro, Danny. Bill, thank you for having me.